What up brothers, it's the Clipper King returning for a unboxing slash review and this might be the strangest thing I've ever done in my life review wise because uh, I ain't got a fucking clue what I'm going to do with this but I was kindly offered this uh, item by a great guy called Wyman Shim who as most of you all know runs an online store called 16 Bros awesome guy, sent me a message the other night do you want to borrow this? Um, I'm like fucking too right I want to borrow it and then I'm starting thinking shipping's going to be a bastard on it he says no worries Rick Meister I'll ship it to you and I'll have it collected no charge to you just have some fun with it and do what you do with it now a couple of th good things about being the uh, Clipper King first obviously is I've got I'm fucking dripping with Fanny all the time obviously you've seen me um, <laughs> Sorry, I can't keep a straight face with that. But another thing is, I'm a trusted member at community, and I do get off a chance to review certain things. But I've got Bane Ink for Ink for Ground, as you can see. Uh, but that's just a size comparison. So if I show you why I've done that, you get an idea of what's in the box behind him. Let's just zoom away, and that is a fucking big old box. Any of you uh, smarter guys, if you look. At the number you might be able to work it out I've lost track of numbers I'll be honest but inside that box is the camo version of the uh, Dark Knight Rises tumbler like I said I'm fucking buzzing because it's not very often a man from fucking miles and miles away will send you a message you want to borrow me tumbler I'm like fucking yeah I do want to borrow your tumbler you can fucking know I want to borrow your tumbler and he sends it up, we're talking nearly £400 worth of merchandise, just borrowed to you, I'm like, fucking get in, not a bad lad, so, um, yeah, I'm going to, I have cut it open, to sort of check it, we're alright, earlier at work, I couldn't do a workplace unboxing, because it's sale week at Meadow Hall, and we've been busy as fuck, so I couldn't do it, I thought, I've got to take this bad boy home, I am hoping weather would stay clear, so I can do my first outside review, which I might still do, because uh, it's not looking too bad outside, if not, I'm going to unbox it tonight, I'm going to set it all up, then I'm going to take it back to work tomorrow, and I'm going to review it in warehouse. So this review could go anywhere, but I hope at the end of it, it gives you a rough idea of if you want to save your pennies and buy one of these bad boys, or if it's just not for you. So I'll put a short cut in here, and I'll move on. Right, just to show you, this is what we're dealing with when we're unboxing. It's a big old bastard, as you can see. Pardon me uh, language, you know I'm foul mouth, but uh, we can all deal with it. You see, nice little love note from your good friend Wyman here. Yeah. Take a break. He's even attached me a cheeky little fun size Kit Kat. That is never going to expand on my chin numbers, right? If you're going to send Kit Kats to uh, Uncle Rickster, what you need to do is make in them chunky ones and then maybe put two or three in because, as you've seen on my videos, I'm developing more chins than a Chinese phone book. So that is what I need. But this will do while I'm just getting this done. So uh, massive shout out to Wyman. Thanks for adding it. And he's even put in a little head in for when you send the uh, shipping document back. And fucking lights go out. Fucking who's not paid lucky bill. So yeah, shipping thing. He's even put the shipping wallet in where I can return it back to him. We. So yeah, I'm going to get the outer box out and then we'll roll on. Right, once you get inside the uh, inner box, the inner packaging, that is actually the uh, display box. That is what you would see if you went into a shop and you were looking to buy it. Pretty simple design, as you can see, down here we've got the Hot Toys Masterpiece, or Movie Masterpiece, Dark Knight Rises Tumblr, camouflage version, and the Hot Toys symbol. Then on the side you've kind of got a, uh, a blueprint kind of design of the uh, Tumblr, and then it's like a, a snowy style background. So pretty simple box, but I don't suppose people are gonna display the box I think it's all about what's inside, so I'm not going to waste no time, I'm not going to score it up because I, the categories that I would use wouldn't fit, but it's basically just to show you what you can expect if you spend this kind of money. Right, so first appearances, first impressions, as you can see I've put the Bane figure back at the side, I've still got to put the fins on, all I've basically done is took the plastic off the uh, rubber wheels, switched on the lights, why well, I kind of left the uh, batteries in for me and basically put Bane inside of it to sort of show it. Uh, I will say 
because it's Wyman's own this I don't think this one's one that is selling although I do think he has got some available I don't particularly want to do things that are sort of not irreversible as such but like the low tack tape on the windows I'm probably going to leave that on so obviously on your own version you won't have that I don't want to peel that off because then it's going to be a nightmare for me to put back on uh, any parts that are fiddly I don't really want to mess about with because like I said I don't want to risk breaking anything I never do when I uh, when I review for someone else and that is the case obviously with this because of the price and also because I just I don't know I, I wouldn't know where I would replace any of the parts for something like this so I wouldn't even risk breaking anything on it so I'm going to do the uh, get you some sort of setups that you might find uh, attractive I kind of like that probably get Bain stood on top in a minute do want to take it outside and get some natural light because I'm going to miss out on the quality I would think we're reviewing it down here simply because the lighting's not the best but uh, just looking at it from above has got that insect look about it something mean about it obviously the Batman's is all black this is the camo version as you know it is really nice so yeah that's first impressions I'm going to get the brake fins on and um, get it set up like I said might take it outside and back garden get it in some natural light and uh, see what we can do right brothers welcome back to my fucking nightmare I've got everything out of box and I've got to say I've never shit my sense so much in a review as I am doing with this simple reason I know how much it costs and it's fucking not mine I've opened the roof I will try and film me doing that but I'm waiting for a fucking cameraman to come in, namely our Callum. So I will show me doing that because I think that's a point of interest. Thing I've got to do now, and I'm really, really reluctant to do, is put these fins on. As you can see inside the polystyrene box, you get a set of fins with a red dot on. They go on the, uh, sort of down this side of the car, the green dots down this side of the car. Obviously, destruction manuals are there. So I'm going to try my best to fucking put these on without smashing it to fucking bits. Which uh, Wyman will be buzzing to hear. I will say, I'm actually very, very close to thinking I'm not even putting them flaps on. I've just texted <laughs> Wyman actually and i put, Wyman, I'm shitting my son with this brother. I says, it's a little bit fiddly and I'm fucking nervous. And I mean proper nervous. So um, he's just texted me back. He's put, look, fuck it, do it. If it breaks, it breaks, no problem. And I'm thinking, if it fucking breaks, it breaks. 485, um, 385 quid delivered that, brother. Never mind if it breaks, it breaks. I feel like a right twat. But I'm going to attempt it. So I just want to say first, I left my lights on actually on this, is it? It is, but I don't think it's going to get inside there much. I'll just show you, inside cockpit. Oops. Left the foam inside actually. Let's take that foam out. <clears throat> you can see it will house two figures, but what I'm coming up against is this steering column is supposed to push back along this track, but it's stiff as fuck. I spoke to Wyman earlier and he said this is his own one, like I said earlier. He's had it out at box once, he's put it on the table, and his missus will like, get that bastard put away, get it off my table, which is pretty much what our lass would say if she come down now, and I were building this on the air. So, I don't think he's ever had a figure in it, so that is still stiff, and I'm not going to start pulling and tugging that about to slide this down here so I can sit Bane inside there, because my idea were, I want to put Bane in there and also demonstrate that the other seat, I would sit, uh, I'm going to, sit in the uh, hooded zombie figure to show it would house uh, two figures but don't think I'm going to do that now I'm not sure I'll have a look going when I feel a bit braver just show you at centre console that bit moves and as you look got kind of a uh, computer style thing going on a radar kind of thing and then here the gear lever comes over as well so yeah that's uh, that's what you've got going on here, I don't know if it'll pick it up in this light, but there is sort of a uh, computer readout on this screen as well. And then inside, the steering section does turn. Like I said, I just wish the old console would slide forward. That does also tilt and lift like that, as you can see. 
show you from sides. That does swivel and it's on a piston as you can see. But I just don't know why this section here won't slide forward. But I'm not going to start wrestling that because fuck breaking her uh, Batman tumbler. That is not my game. So, put her uh, short cut in again. I try and get these fins on. If they even start creaking in my hand, they're going straight back in box. Because there's no way I'm fucking breaking that. Not on my watch. Aha! Screw you, motherfucker! Fucking Clipper King 1, Tumblr nil. I've fucking managed to get all fins on, as you can see. All working a treat. Beautiful. See? Flaps. Looking nice. Only thing I didn't attach were these pistons underneath. Because I thought they just fucking crane out to snap in my hand and I'm not falling for it. So you see, all flaps work. Beautiful. So now if we get a uh, bit more a beastly look at her, up flaps are up, slant anchors on, looking lovely. Right, let's have a look at some of the detail while we're here. So I think the outside idea is gonna fall on its face. So let's do it now. Right, as you can see, let me let me get Bane in. Gives you a bit of a size comparison. That's Bane on his stand. Look where wheel goes to up his back. Fucking huge. It's massive. Like I said, got the double back wheel. Inside we've got the, uh, the jet engine leading up. Sort of nitro controls, I would say they are. With taps and gauges. Looking sweet. Sorry if you can hear pots jangling about in the kitchen. That's my daughter washing pots. You can see double wheels at that side. So yeah, I'm gonna get it turned around, have a look at side view, and uh, I'll put the flaps down, show you that. Right, just to show you the light function, as you can see it from, we've got the uh, sets of light, sort of underneath, behind the wheels, a couple of sets a little bit higher up, so at the side of the windscreen, and you've got the two spotlight type things going towards the flaps at back. As we come round, show the profile of it. See so all the flaps are up, making it look very uh, beastly, I suppose. If you go down, and the switch is sort of down in there, look. Like I said, Wyman did leave me batteries in, that's where the batteries go. So, yeah. I will just say as well while we're down here, there's also a set of flaps here, but they don't move. Uh, it just gives it that blown out look going down towards the tyre, so yeah, it is nice. So what I'm going to do, put another little cut in, and I'll try and demonstrate how you open the cockpit. Right brothers, I found a cameraman, it's my oldest daughter, Ebony. I don't know how she'll do, we've got to give her a chance because I can't wait for our Callum all day. So basically, as you can see, it's completely closed. I will say the cracks around there aren't very obvious so you wouldn't know just looking at it that it does open. So it is a work of genius really that it does. And what you do is you lift the roof section up like that and you see when it, when it comes up the windscreen sort of pulls up and out. And then what you do is you sort of hold the roof in position and then the, the windscreen section sort of slides underneath the roof so it's like that and then it all pushes back so that I probably opened it about three times so I'm not done too bad there and then you can see down inside it's now open like I said normally this section would then pull forward and you'd sit the figure inside and then you would be able to see the figure through the windows but like I said I've tried that and I've, I've tried it as hard as I'm willing to try it I, I, there's no way I want to risk doing it so I'm not going to put the figure inside there. Also, because it doesn't really display all, I'm not going to put Bane inside the cockpit either. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it outside for some better lighting, try and show you the details on the weathering and everything. Uh, like I said, show you around the flaps working again. And that is about all I can do with it. But what I will say is, it has been, <laughs> it's been a nervy sort of hour that I've been looking at this figure, but it's also been very enjoyable. So... Um, 
like I said, I will try and take it outside because it is dry. The light's not amazing, but I will take it outside, get bane poles on top, and I'll show you around it. Right, silly me, I nearly went without showing you how it comes back down. Just basically everything in reverse. What you've got to remember is this windscreen section sort of tucks into the car. I'll try and show you what I mean. So it would it pulls out forward and then the the roof section sort of moves forward as well. And then like you could leave it hanging out like that, but that's not right. So that needs to go inside the car like that. Then the roof drops back down into place. And then down on the side is sort of a, a position where you kind of locked in. And that is how you close the roof. So I hope she's caught that well. Right, scrapped idea outside. Like I said, I didn't know where this review would take me. I scrapped it simply because it's too wet on the ground. It's not raining no more. In fact, it's pretty dry. But like I said, I, I just, I want to be extra careful with these things. I can't stress it enough. I had fucking 85 lengths on this summer and they fucked about with it. So I, there's no way I'm going to do that to somebody else. So yeah, ground were too wet. I went out and checked it and I thought, fuck it, we'll do it in here. It's not best shot because the scenery is shit, to be honest, and the light's not awesome. But this is one of the problems with a thing like this. You're sort of limited where you can go and where you can display it. Like I say, it is a total thing of beauty and an engineering piece of fucking genius, really. I can't stress that enough. And I think for the £385, which is what uh, why I'm in charge on 1.6 Bruce, and that is shipped as well. So £385, uh, £385 to your door. If you're a vehicle kind of guy or you want the ultimate Batman set up, I would think you've possibly got them or you're looking for them or whatever, so I'm not telling you no, you don't need to know. Uh, like I said, I can't fault it. Let's get in and see if we can get some details. As you can see, all the edging, got the scuff marks. Every time I put my hand to it, I'm amazed at how small my hand looks compared to this fucking thing. So, yeah, going up, like scuff marks on all the edges. It's not, it's not that I'm being looked after, it's more, it's painted. Uh, the lights are in good places the wiring you never see the wiring so you don't know how it gets around but uh, like I say it is in the uh, it is just menacing and imposing the wheels are real rubber nice thick tread Bane just about to do a nose dive I saved him get up there you shit house in fact let's not like I said, demonstrated the opening closing of the top section is nice inside. Would have been awesome if I could have got that uh, steering section moved and got the figure sat in just to see if we could see him through a window or whatever or got a, some kind of pose with him getting into the seat. But like I said, I want to go for the ultimate review on this, but I don't want to wreck it doing it sort of thing. The flaps, as you can see now, they move from side. So I'm extra careful with these. They'll move all tilt up and down. So obviously they come up to brake, would be down if you were driving fast, sort of like that. And then obviously if you were steering, one side would go down and one side would go up. I think that's how it works. I so said they do attach pretty easy, but like I said, if you guys get it, chances are you bought it. So you can be as rough or as careful as you want. It's your fucking thing by then. Um, but like I said, if anybody ever know what it's like to handle something like this when it's somebody else's, you'll know you know how I feel sort of thing so yeah just going round it so um, there's not much more I can say I don't know how much footage I've caught like I said I'm pretty I'm pretty up in air I knew I wanted to see it because it's one of them things you see it as many times as you want on a review and you never really you never really grasp the scale of it or how well made it is or whatever Um but when you see it in hand and when you open it, like I said, I first off opened it at work. My friend actually signed for this box when it got there and he was like, what the fuck you got now? It's fucking massive, it weighs a ton. I was like, oh, it's a bat tumbler. He's like, what's the fucking bat tumbler? I'm like, it's Batmobile. So it's a camouflage version of Batmobile's car, uh, Batman's car. So he's like, all right, get it open then. So we opened it between three and us and obviously they looked in and they were like, oh, fucking hellfire. What the fuck's that all about? So yeah, that's sort of response I get from non-collectors. But um, you know it's impressive when they act like that. So yeah, it is uh, eye-catching, there's something about it. 
Again, I would say the black one is the more iconic and possibly the most sought after because it is Batman's vehicle, so you're going to get that. But um, I don't know, I think it's a fair price. If you are looking for one, then I would say probably get in touch with uh, One Six Bros. Uh, like I said, I think this is his own one, uh, but he has got a couple available, I do believe. So if you are looking, you know where to find one, whether you want to pay that amount or whatever that's uh, down to you i can only show you what i've seen and like i said i'm more than impressed with it what would put me off getting it would is a simple answer i ain't got room for it i wouldn't be able to display it anywhere where i could get spotlights on it and film it with my collection that would be the only thing that put me off it and maybe the price as well because i don't really i don't really shop i don't really shop uh, at that price as you probably noticed I do go for uh, figures I don't go for custom figures but uh, they would be the thing stopping me but like I said if you're a vehicle kind of guys then I think if you got it you'd be more than happy with it so there's not much more I can say massive thanks to Wyman obviously thanks for your trust brother because to me I know it's the tumbler you've uh, sent me but it's all about trust to me like I said at the beginning for somebody to send nearly a 400 pound item to another bloke to review basically told me do what i want with it if i break it i break it luckily i haven't thank fuck for that uh, and it is coming back to you in the condition that uh, it came to me so massive shout out to all my viewers hope you've enjoyed this this has been a strange one it's been a strange one for me and i guess it's been pretty strange for you and my camera's even going out of focus which never really happens with this camera but uh yeah not much more i can say Got to now take all them things back off carefully, get it boxed back up. It has been collected on Thursday. So again, massive shout out to Wyman. Check out his site if you don't already. You all know him. Uh, but for now, there's a Clipper King. And I'm out of here.